Hello, welcome to Being Techie. Today I am going to explain unit testing in .NET Web API routes. <laughs> unit testing is a very powerful tool to uncover defects during the de development itself. We write unit tests for a lot of our business logic and different parts of our application. But in Web API, we have a challenge in unit testing the routes. Routes is an entry point to the API, which tells us like which controller and which action should be hit when you call an endpoint. So I'm going to explain with a sample how this unit testing can be done for .NET Web API routes. Let's go to the sample. I've created one sample with ASP.NET Web API. It's called Web API Web Routing and also created a web routing dot unit test project in the web routing project created one sample controller product controller with an endpoint api slash product i have also created one another endpoint with the same url but for now i'll comment this The main endpoint API product calls a repository which is being injected in the constructor. In the repository, there is a method called retrieve products. And the retrieve products provides the list of products. This is simple list collection. In ideal cases, this will be written, read from the database, probably using an entity framework. Let's run this Web API to see what this endpoint returns. The URL is API. I think it, it hit a breakpoint. Let's try the actual URI. Okay, it returned two products in XML format. Now go back to the sample and let's see what is the unit test we have written. We have written one unit test class, product controller unit test, rather route test. And there is one unit test case to test this particular URL API slash product. Just to explain, it has two sections. Okay, let's come out of the debug mode. Setup. Action. And assertion. Three sections, which is a general any unit test will have. In the setup, I'm creating a product repository mark because I don't want to call the real product repository so i have created one mock down in the same file usually we can put it in a separate file so this repository simply tells whether this method is called or not here i have used a manual mock but in general we can use automated mocks such as microsoft fakes there are made plenty available in the online and the next one which is very important for web routing unit testing I have added one another helper class called route helper. I'll explain more a little later. And for this route, route helper, I'm adding the mock as a dependency injection. So this is our setup for the unit test case. Once it is set up, you perform the action. In our case, our action is to call the web API endpoint, which is API slash product. And the assertion is when you make this call, the API pro slash product, whether it call your product repository mock or not. So for that reason, I am asserting on the property I have added inside the mock. If it is true, it tells us that this API endpoint call that product repository and our controller appropriately. If it is not called, it means 
there is some problem with our endpoint and and the url is not calling the controller and the action let's see the route helper route helper is nothing but it creating our own http server and hosting our web api in that http server so to make this happen i have created a configuration http configuration and inside that configuration if you see i'm adding our routing configuration to this temporary http configuration and as we know the http configuration uses a dependency resolver and we are using a unity container and adding that to the http configuration i have exposed it as a property so that we can inject our product repository to this container once the configuration is set up you create a server and we've also created a http client and our send a base address of route slash api this is the setup of the http server and i've added a helper method which will simply take the url and call that url using the http client and returns the message so this is one time setup for a route helper which can be used in each of the unit tests we can have another helper methods like put delete and post but for now i'm just showing the get if you go to the unit test and let's run the unit test so when you perform the get action if you check this property it is called and it is true so that's why our unit has succeeded if you want to see whether it really called our product controller or not let's put one breakpoint here and start over that unit test again see it hit our endpoint and it is calling the product repository in our case it's a mock because we injected through that unit test case and it is calling the property and it is successful to demonstrate the use of this unit test case let's uncomment another endpoint with the same with the same url <coughs> so let's say in our like in your company or in your project there are many people and different modules and different controllers and they may use unknowingly the same url which is already defined and if it is not tested properly and it goes into production your endpoint will fail or it goes into testing your endpoint will fail and the purpose of this unit testing is to even before going to the testing team you want to uncover okay there is a conflict with the url and rectify that so now i have two endpoints with the same url even if i build it it will succeed but the unit test should give assertion fail see because our product repository mark is not called the property is not set because the api slash product is not able to resolve like which action should be performed hence the test fail so this gives us a easy way to find the bugs during the development itself hope this video is useful for you for a complete code you can 
look at my github repository in, which is given in my channel description thank you for watching see you next time